big action movie fan. This film has good action, a fun premise, Jason Statham, and a solid director. What's not to like? I mean, sure, it clearly takes a lot of inspiration from John Wick, with a less thorough world building, but still some interesting tidbits. The action isn't next level, but it's supremely entertaining with some solid fights, especially towards the end. It's nice to see David Ayer churning out content again and again, considering what he went through with Suicide Squad, and I think because of him, this movie both feels like a throwback to a heyday of action cinema that just isn't around anymore, simultaneously being self-aware and self-serious in the best of ways. I love that balance. It doesn't try to be overly cute, overly complex, overly long. Just a clear action romp revenge tale with a bit more at play than normal and it plays it straight when it could play it cute. The sequel potential is ripe. There's also a pretty crazy twist, some gnarly visceral fighting, and a lot of one-liners. What more could you ask for? Now, where the movie sours though is the writing a bit. The dialogue consisted of primarily four words. Bees, beekeeper, hive, and F. You know, that word. The rest of the dialogue is actually pretty rough, but it's elevated by a stellar cast who chew through every scene given, particularly by Irons, Hutcherson, and the ever-reliable Jason Statham. There's an argument to be made he makes the same movies over and over or that he plays the same character in every film, but who cares? He is one of the main guys responsible for keeping the action genre alive and has consistently delivered, with a few duds, who hasn't, over the last two decades that I've seen anyway. I also think that there's one fault in editing, directing, and sometimes the action I have is the morality gets a little bogged down when the body count starts getting high. We don't know for sure the security guards he dispatched of are even bad until they try to kill him again later. He plows through some ex-Navy SEALs who were also just doing their job, and he has an extended scene trying to save people, and he trades verbal blows about innocence. And while the third act goes out of the way to show non-lethal violence against a particular set of guards who are innocent, among another scene earlier, some of those blows could be fatal, or at least brutal, maiming, and show no blood. But come on, even in protective gear, the one guy got blown 20 feet away from an explosion and he was on fire. I think this confuses some of the themes and I believe the intent was to show a difference in code, but that comes across as a contradictory, hypocritical situation for the lead character and I think that's due to the editing because lots of good guys get beat up or blown up. One scene I audibly said, wait, did he make sure that guy made it out? No? There's also some fast pacing where a character asks for a location, they hang up the phone and the next scene Cut to them answering the phone and getting said location. Why not just do it all in one scene? I kind of wonder if COVID guidelines impacted some of how they had to shoot certain scenes where actors won't appear in the frame together and it's edited around that, which is done well, but I noticed. It just doesn't seem like a deliberate choice and it didn't really work for me, but it had me thinking about how certain scenes were shot. I still think overall Ayer gave this a distinct, but not overdone vibe all around, except for one character who felt like she was from a completely different film or franchise. Ayer directs the action in a super serviceable, fun way that screams action movie extravaganza. Maybe not on the level of John Wick, but it's solid. One thing that's a pet peeve of mine in movies is abrupt endings, and the ending here is abrupt. I wanted more story resolution. And I, this is the type of thing where sequels will be just a new scenario, so hopefully we'll get those. But I had a blast. Bring on those sequels. Bring on the lore. I like what's here, but I go for more. More lore. <laughs> I give The Beekeeper 3.5 out of 5 stars. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that like button. And remember, always look for the good. And subscribe.